I mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of uh, working these things out. The universe? Yeah, like the uh, the cosmic space gods. Space gods. You heard me. Okay, spell it. Not that a spell. You know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. So she dumped her ass, huh? Hi, Emma. Hey. <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will ya? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. Welcome back. We are returning to the quarry. It's been a really long time since I had played this game and just got caught up in other things and then didn't have the disc and finally got it and yeah I'm just finally getting back to it so hopefully you all will like it um, I think this is going to be it's one of the um, horror games that I've played I haven't played any in quite a while um, So let's, uh, we can look around. Uh, let's not pick up the bags yet. Let's actually look around here. Um, here, let me do something. Cause I'm having a little trouble. Oh. Do, 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 do. Settings. Display. Yeah, I know, horror games must be scary, but I'm having a heck of a time seeing stuff. That's a little better. I don't know what's killing the deer. Deer hunting canceled this year due to increased deer mortality. Gonna have to be really careful. Sometimes those clues are just that little light again, which is why I'm turning up the brightness a little. Oh, hey, this is Emma's. Path chosen. Oh, that's right. You do certain things, you have certain paths open up for you. And there are like literally hundreds I'm not kidding with you literally hundreds of different endings for this game so I have no idea what kind of ending I'm gonna have good bad somewhere in between doing everything I think that could be right could give me ending up being the very worst ending Okay, so... We've got... We were actually here. This little bunker, this was in the uh, prologue that we, um, we broke into. Can we do anything with this before I talk with him? Looks like not. <clears throat> hey, 
What do you uh, What do you listen to? Good to know. Okay, is there anything else to get the stairs? Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's. it's I gotta get the last bags What's in there. Come wrong on. With this thing, it's just Dylan, frozen. please. Hey. Sorry, bro. <laughs> Jeez. Cool. Thanks, guys. this man would want to leave a place like this it's like a goddamn Bob Ross it's pretty nice gotta admit I'm not much of an outdoors kind of person but I probably would go there hello we'll get an X Okay, we do not want to hit X because we do not want to go back outside. Ugh, horror. I hate horror. <laughs> Okay, so this is a game where they control your camera viewpoint. Not as fond of those because they'll use jump scares because you can't look in a certain direction. And they'll jump scare in any direction that you cannot look at. Let's see, look around. Can we see anything in here? Whoa, hello. Nope. Just making sure there wasn't anything before I went through the door. And now I can look around. I wonder why they limited your vision in there. Got door, open door.
temperance. Oh, card. Temperance, to be balanced, to consume in moderation, or to indulge in excess. Temperance, take it or leave it, but remember sometimes with temperance comes a deferred gratification. Uh, these cards are used, if I remember correctly, to give you a look into the future. Um, and the other horror games I had, there were other different things that you could use to get you glances at them. And I think this is the same thing, except you don't get them right away. You only get them at the end. Um, um, so we will, when we get to the end of the chapter, hopefully we will be able to see a glimpse of what's coming forward. a bad place to get stuck which of course means somebody's going to get stuck in what looks like the freezer yeah. yeah no this isn't we aren't in a horror movie at all I thought I saw some body in the back over there on the right. Um, yeah, let's not deal with that yet. Oh. Hey, that could have been a clue. Ah, I did. Really, dude? Locking me out? Okay, in my defense, A, it was Dylan's idea, and two, it was really funny. Oh, yeah, right. Is that is that right? I don't write the rules, man. Okay, whatever. Look, are you gonna help me with the bags or what? Nah, I gotta stay here and wait for Mr. H to return our cell phone. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Okay, and why are the stairs blocked? Well, apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place. Uh, Mr. H's words, not mine. Oh! Boring. <laughs> Is that you, Dylan? I can only deal with one shit at a time, Jacob. Oh, jeez. Okay, we're gonna leave that alone. Here. No, there is no run. There's only this slow measured walk, which means you can only run when it comes time to run. Make sure there's nothing over here or missing. Eh, oh, what do you got here? This place needs a serious overhaul. Jesus. Okay, again, I'm going to say something's going to go on with that um, fireplace. Bags. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? 
Oh, okay. So now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. Oh, oh sorry. I just got so distracted about that rhyme. I forgot what we oh, were... Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, y you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? Ah, oh, sexy, huh? Hottest at camp by far. Okay, sure. Look, it was all settled by the girls in bunk seven, like second day of camp. It goes Ryan, me of course, then Dylan, Emma, Abby. Okay. Nick, and then Mr. H, and... Okay, are you almost finished? Please? Yep, that's it. That's everyone. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't... Okay. Her whole thing is like, how are we gonna make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? <laughs> no, but I mean, seriously, come on, she's right. It's just like a stupid summer fling. What else did I think was gonna happen? Uh, let's see. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, Divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, emptiness, retirement, grandkid, 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 uh, nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. That kind of the ballpark? Oh, shit, I'm sorry. That was Ryan and me. Uh, let me see. Ah, here it is. Yours just says... Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just a generic all men list. Well, that seems legit. <laughs> okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, it doesn't kill you, it'll make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> Uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was, like, a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. I guess we'll just have to find out. <sighs> yeah, we're not going to break the fuel line. If we steal the rotor arm, we can at least put it back. Breaking something is kind of permanent. We chosen another path by Yeah. Back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. Like I said, that way it can go back in. Breaking you know something. Why do they look like they're up to something? Hey Jacob. What no dude, please do 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 Oh Nick Boom. Oh, oh. there it oh, is. I Ooh, forgot I about that. Freak. Oh. Oh. Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Oh. Freaks. I'm surrounded by freaks. Oh, thank God. I'm gonna get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped <laughs> an emergency? Oh, Ben. Uh, okay, well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, damn, now we've been. 
Yeah, well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hotel. Okay, company. okay, let's all put our little dicks away and get this show on the road, huh? Where is everybody else? Why, why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay, yeah, keep dreaming, Junior. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Oh boy, you're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Yeah, we gotta get our bags. It's a horror thing. We don't want to leave bags just sitting there. Okay. We may need something. Let's do it. We better not get into trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? I'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One. Two. Three! Ugh. Mm. All about the power okay. of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh, my God, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go not. She sounds and looks familiar. Actually gonna miss all those lumpy loose springs. Oh, I see. Oh, this was little Izzy's. I wanna play a game. <laughs> kind of hard to see. Get you back to Izzy. Path updated. Interesting. So it didn't create a path, but it caused something. Why would this place be in the news? Freak show goes up in flames. Like the magazine, the North Kill Gazette. Huh, looks like we missed a clue. Wow, okay. That's the beds. All right. From, oh God, what's the name of that show? Uh, 
um, dang it, I know I will know this at some point. It's going to drive me crazy. Oh, we got a clue. Or something of interest. I guess it's not necessarily a clue. Tape recorder. Helen is not going to be happy that the kids just left this year. <laughs> I'll tell Chris about it when we see him. Yeah. Clues. Aha, uh -huh. there we go. Clues. Camp song recording. Years gone by, technology and sound grains the same. Okay, we've got paths. Oh, look. Love, first freight. Above the law? A fool's errand? Down the rabbit hole. Ah, looks more in a cabin. Okay, so again, remember I was telling you about all these paths? Oh, there's another one. Camp. Camp Lodge. Okay, so these are all the people Dylan, Jacob, Caitlin, Nick, and Ryan. I'm there, okay. Camp Cabins. Oh, okay. So. Those are the first people we met. These are the next people. Abby is the one I'm trying to remember who the heck her name is. We've got lots of other locations. Abigail. Objective. Take a final look around the cabin. Oh, what is uh, her name? I mean, look at the, the face. It's, it's driving, gonna drive me nuts until I remember what her name is. Oh. Okay. It'll come to me, I'm sure. Clues there. Let's head back where we were and work our way around to the other cabins. Oh, hello. Events evidence? Oh, wait, evidence. Everyone likes a scavenger hunt, and at Hackett's Quarry, that's no different. There are secrets in these woods, fun secrets that, should you uncover them, could help protect you from criminal prosecution. After all, the stories you'll take with you are only stories without the proof to back them up. So it's time to dive into the mystery, take pictures, or find pieces of evidence. 
and you may just prove your innocence. Or not. <laughs> okay. Let's look at these other things. I've forgotten them. It's been so long. <clears throat> at certain times throughout the night, opportunities will present themselves, giving you the chance to take matters into your own hands. It is worth noting that they are only suggestions. You don't have to act upon them. In fact, sometimes it's better not to. Hmm. Okay. Hackett's quarry is full of twists and turns, unknown paths and unexplored wonders. With each step taken, you tread a path of your own, matched with its very own consequences. There will be moments throughout your stay that show you that the choices you've made, the path you've chosen, could have gone another way. At Hackett's Quarry, there's no such thing as the wrong way. But be warned, some paths are more dangerous than others. Take a moment to consider the following, as it will guide you through the various twists and turns that may appear during your stay at Hackett's Quarry. What you see here are quick time events, or QTEs, which will help you to act at just the right time. Watch your step. Hackett's Quarry can be a dangerous place if you're not paying attention to your surroundings. Take your eye off the ball, and it could spell disaster. The path you tread is yours to choose, but that doesn't mean there won't be obstacles along the way. <laughs> okay, these are pretty interesting tutorials. Ouch. So Jacob hasn't seen this. <sighs> Empty vial. Empty vial. With an unpleasant odor. Ugh. Ew, what is that? Is it Dylan's? Ugh. Jacob plus Emma forever summer. Okay. So we checked out all those. Let's check out these. Anyhow, I'm I'm not going up any of the stairs because I don't. I'm looking to see if there's any of the um, interaction points, the little lights. And if I don't see it, then I just move on. Okay, let's. Hello. Before we go and talk with her, let's look around, check out the rest of this place. Stars. I don't think anyone knocked Caitlin out of first place all summer. Damn it. 
Just a second, this is driving me nuts. Nuts. Uh, I'm gonna have to remember that it's someplace somehow. All right. Ready to roll? Let's do it. Bye. <coughs> Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No, <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what, you and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. <gasps> oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. <gasps> nice steering tech. Yankees. Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud? Kind of like you and Jacob. He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you put it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. When do you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, see me grow out? One last victory lap around the camp? Yeah, why not the scenic route? Maybe we'll just see something, a sure, clue or something. Victory. Two months, no technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. You know what? I actually believe you. Abby, was that a compliment? Your charm is infectious, what can I say? <laughs> I'd subscribe. You better. As soon as you get home, sub, share, smash that like button. The holy trinity. Okay, well now I'm really regretting it. Oh no, you love me. <laughs> oh. My favorite spot? The fire pit? The island. Mad secluded, right? Is, is that smoke? I finally remember who she is. Should we tell someone? Mm, it looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should, we should probably, you know, get back. Oh yeah, worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave without you. Well, no, they're probably like all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick. Waiting for you. All, everyone, same. Aria Winter from Modern Family. She played uh, Alex. Been driving me crazy. Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. It's okay, I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. Uh, ew. 
Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up onto the... Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me, um, let me get it for you. I can take care of my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag, thank you. Uh, uh, Abby, do you need... Yeah. Can I... Thank you. Definitely her. Hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice, that's cool. What's it about? I think it's called How to Mind Your Own Business. You should listen to it. Ghosts. Ghosts? Yeah, well, all sorts of cryptozoology, really. The, the episode I was listening to was actually about this place. Oh, yeah, yeah, the one that you were talking about to the uh, kids at the campfire. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Yes. What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. <laughs> oh, can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are, like, reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook kind of stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggit's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. <laughs> cool story, bro. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for <laughs> life. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Uh, yeah, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. So hop to it. Get those butts in gear. Sorry, Mr. H. Yeah, had to liberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies' ball as ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But, you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dillon? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. 
Uh, uh oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, no. It's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the. Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello? Yeah, normally I'd mind my own business, but horror story. They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have... Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's A-OK -okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get This is a waste of time. You know what? No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Try staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah, of course. Adios. Sorry, I, I wasn't... I, I wasn't listening. I, I was just, like, waiting. Like, I mean, I heard... Uh, I mean, I, would, I didn't hear what you were... Saying. We're cool, champ. Just come on in. Sorry I pushed you out like that. You, uh, you need a hand? Looking for the keys? Uh, no. End of summer. Busy, busy. You know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It was just the whole animation school thing. What you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, it's a whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents since I'd have to live on campus, you know. My mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. Our, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. Dang it. Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> so, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, of these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories? That's fair. Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Gotta understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to Kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys don't do Kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Just give me a minute. Where in the good goddamn are they? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? He's sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off-season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short-staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. 
unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left uh -huh. it. Uh-huh. Let's skedaddle. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. <clears throat> you sure to have turned it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it, let's go. What's the problem? Ugh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right, it's busted. Well, maybe you're doing Go, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough, enough, both of you. Shit, come on, all right, come dude, on. Chill, chill, Let's go. dude. I'm kids to check everything no, we did it, it should be working yeah well coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is does it damn it okay okay well, uh, look it's not that big of a deal okay we'll just spend one more night here no no just stop let me think Damn it. You're right, you're right, yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? <laughs> yeah. Not that it's going to happen, but we'll say yes. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. Was that about he uh said to stay inside that we're not leaving until the morning are you kidding me um are you kidding me what are we supposed to do well we should go inside like he said we could go inside until morning yeah or or we could do something else What are you talking about? No Mr. Hackett, no screaming kids. Just a bunch of grown-ass adults ready to cut loose and get down with their animal side. Oh, hell yeah! P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time.
Oh, dude. Fuck yes. I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. Em, what do you say? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, man. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He's just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um... Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, Dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. I no, 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 D dude, dude. It's all good. All right, we get it. You know, you uh, you don't want to disappoint Daddy. Yeah, well, someone's got to give a shit. Oh. You know what? <gasps> I don't even care what you guys do. Oh. I'm doing what Chris told oh. me to do. Ryan, come on, man. Wait. All right, all right, all right, Hacketeers. Party planning committee, let's do this. Um, okay, first things first. Nick and Abby, you will get some firewood. Uh, Em and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones or something. All right, let's do this. Okay, we're coming up on the end of the video. We're running out of time, actually. Whoa. That's not good. That's really not good. Hunting season. Oh. I was hoping you'd come back to me. Let's see what you found. Temperance. <laughs> to be balanced. To consume in moderation. Or to indulge in excess. Temperance. Take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes, with temperance comes deferred gratification. There's more I can show you, if you like. I'm going to go ahead and restart this video for the next one because I've got like less than a minute to go and I think it's going to take longer than that. So we'll see it starting in the next one. See you then. If you like what you've seen, hopefully you did. If so, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Talk to you later.